Hey you guys, so today I'm here for um, what I think is going to be a really quick video, but it is about how to tackle big books. I think we have all been there where we see a book like The Wise Man's Fear, which is like 1,000 pages, and we just, we're scared to tackle it. We want it. We want to experience a story because everyone seems to love it but it looks so daunting. I have four quick tips here that should help you out when trying to tackle big books. I use these whenever I'm reading a big book or just handling big books in general, so let's just get started. The first one is don't start it when you're super stressed out or you have a lot going on. Now I know that this sounds kind of obvious, but a lot of people will try to tackle really, really big books while they're super stressed out and that's just going to put you off from reading it and you're never going to finish it because you're just going to be too stressed. This is something that I tend to do. I tend to read shorter books when I am stressed and longer books when I have more time. It's something that's worked for me. I tend to fly through bigger books quicker when I have more time and I'm not stressed and I'm not you know, psyching myself out about it. My second tip for you is to have a weekly goal. Now by weekly goal I mean like be up to page 250 by the end of the week. And that might sound like a lot to you, but this leads me to tip number three, which is you should think about it as if you're reading a bunch of 200 page novels. So this is about 220 pages and this is a thousand, right? So if you put them next to each other and you think about like you're reading this, this number of pages, every week you will fly through it much quicker and that's just something I do. So basically those two tips kind of go together so you know have a weekly goal. What I usually do is I go through the book and I kind of divide it up into five sections maybe or I divide it up into like weeks of the month and so like week one read up to page 225, week two read up to page 500 or something like that and then I kind of divvy it up and that helps a lot. It helps so much and I can't, I cannot say that enough. It helps so much to have a weekly goal with it and then to, as it tied into tip number three, think about it as if you're reading um, a 200 page book every week or a 300 page book every week because as readers we, we tend to read 300 page books a lot, pretty often, maybe 200 page books pretty often and so if you think about it that way it's much less daunting and it's worked for me, so I hope it works for you. And the last tip for you is I don't really recommend reading another book while you're reading the big book because then you'll tend to gravitate towards the shorter book because you can finish the shorter book more quickly. If you are going to read books while you're reading the big book, I recommend picking very short, light books because this is a pretty hefty read this should be pretty quick and it's short and it's light and you know it's contemporary so I just recommend doing that to help you out with your big book endeavors. So those are my tips for you. I hope those helped. So just to recap, tip number one was don't read when you're super, super, super stressed. Like don't read a big book when you're super stressed. That just has a lot of emotional turmoil and is very long. Tip number two is have a weekly goal. Try to divvy up the page count of reading for each week. Um, number three, Think about it as if you're reading a 200 or 300 page book every week. It'll make reading much, much easier. And number four, try to read short books during if you are going to read other books while you read the big book. And also a, a, an extra tip is don't, don't stress yourself out about it. I mean, it is nice to reach the weekly goal. It kind of gives you something to work towards. But if you don't reach that goal, it's fine. Take your time with the book and don't stress yourself out about it. So... Those are my tips for you, and now it's time for my random fact. My random fact for you today is that I plan on majoring in math and English when I go to college, and I'm only a junior, but I've started thinking about it, and I think I'm going to go with that decision, but we will see. I definitely want to major in English and math, but we never know. But we're sticking with that for now. We're sticking with that for now. I like it. So comment down below your tips for reading the books, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!